The most important thing you can learn to fish is where the fish are most likely going to be and how to approach a stream so that you can catch as many fish as you can. So for one, let me talk a little bit about reading water. One rule of thumb is to look for places where calm water is going to meet fast water. Essentially, the faster water is going to be bringing the food to the fish, but calm water allows the fish to be hanging in there without spending a lot of energy fighting the currents. Whenever you find calm water meeting fast water, that's a good combination because the fish can hang in the calm water and get food coming in from the fast water. In a mountain stream, just look for the calmest waters that you can, but also look for structures. Like in front of rocks, you might have whirlpools. Behind rocks, you have cushions of water where the currents are going to meet and find some kind of calm water as well. Look for foam where we say foam is home. So that, those are good indicators of places where you can cast your fly. Next, a little bit about how to reach certain spots and how to fish a particular pool. Typically, I like to start moving upstream, but you can fish a pool either upstream or downstream. Either one is going to give you a little bit of different presentations. What I usually do is stay far from the stream so that I can cast on the shore closest to me first. And I do a tier three cast on that spot, and then I move closer to the shore so that I can fish the other side or the middle of the pool. And then I start moving upstream. Typically, if a pool looks really good, I might fish a tier three cast from downstream up and then I might change my angles, go upstream, and fish it from upstream down. And that's going to give me different presentations to entice fish.